That was absolutely fascinating. If you were into history, yeah. or if you're into the Titanic, there's so much in there. That is like your jam. There's Obviously. even a ride inside. Oh yeah. We went on. Yeah. Very small town here. Just a little seaside place that people come in. Yeah. Oh, we've just stood in concrete. Oh no. I wondered why my foot slips. This is our first day, first day starting in Ireland. We arrived yesterday. We um, enjoyed a few pints of Guinness. Yeah, was, Guinness is amazing, by the way. So much better in Ireland than it is in New Zealand, like the exported stuff. 100%. Um, so today we are starting our Northern Ireland tour with Rabbies, which is over three days, two nights. So the main things that we're going to see on this uh, trip Today we're going to see uh, the Titanic quarters, so yeah. where the Titanic was actually built. And launched from. Which I'm very excited about. And then also uh, things like the Giant's Causeway, which we'll obviously like fill you guys in on. So for us, we think about Ireland as just one place, but Northern Ireland and the separation has sort of surprised us. I'm sure we're going to learn a lot more about it, but I was quite shocked to learn that Ireland, or Southern Ireland, uses Euros as a currency, and that Northern Ireland... Uses Pounds. Uses Pounds! I, I didn't realise that it was to that degree. No, neither did I. So I feel like there's going to be lots that we'll pick up along the way, but I think the Titanic is the thing that we're just the most excited to see. So the trip up to Belfast is supposed to take about three hours, was it three hours? I think three hours, yeah, from so Dublin. It's quite a hefty trip. So we've been picking up a lot of the, I don't want to, I don't want to explain yet the, the why Northern Ireland exists versus Ireland until we've properly got a grasp on it because I feel like you got to get that right. We might insult people, but yeah. I know it's to do with the English anyway and the separation between uh, the United Kingdom and everything. We'll go into that more. But as you can tell, we're like, my it's hair is going here. crazy. It is super windy. And we've come to a, just a random stop. This is just like a pit stop on the way to break up the journey. And we have to go in and get a coffee. coffee. Have we to. need a warm up. We have <laughs> to go in and get a coffee. <laughs> Made it to Belfast. And uh, our guide Fergal has just dropped us off. He's so he's so Irish. Isn't he's he? so Irish. <laughs> so we've just arrived now at the um, at the Titanic, Titanic. and this place is incredible. So it's an award-winning design, as well as an award-winning museum, apparently. And it's. Nickname is the iceberg, <laughs> which I don't know if is awkward. Yeah, I don't or know if we cool. should laugh about that, but mm. apparently everywhere in Ireland has a nickname, and that just happens to be what they've called it. Look how cool this is out here. We got the impression that filming inside the museum itself was a little bit frowned upon, so we sort of chose to only grab a few clips here and there, just short ones, to show some insights, so at least you can see what it looks like inside there. As you'll see from our reaction soon, it was genuinely up there. It's probably one of the best museums uh, we've ever been to, and actually kept us engaged the whole few hours that we wandered around for. It's just one of those stories, like the Titanic as a whole, it's just one of those stories that everybody knows something about. Either it's from the movies, or rumors or actual fact and it was just cool to be there and see it for ourselves and go a little bit deeper so if you do get the chance we can highly recommend go and check it out it's super interactive as well and uh, I think that keeps people engaged for just that little bit longer rest your wee legs That was absolutely fascinating. There was so much information in there though. Information overload. If you're, in, yeah. if you're a geek, oh, sorry, I mean that in the nicest way possible. If you're into history, yeah. or if you're into the Titanic. There's so much in there. That is like your jam. You could, you could spend, so, we, we, we're, so we've given uh, two and a half hours for exploring this area. And there's like a battleship close by. There's another little vessel over this way as well. And we've spent pretty much two hours and we didn't even read everything. No, and that says a lot for us because we usually don't like to spend too much time in 
like museum-y places we sort of tend to lose interest a little bit yeah <laughs> but so, not with this so it was um six levels nine different things like it goes through like the early days of belfast right the way to like the construction of the vessel like how they how they launch and everything there's no way we can share all that stuff there's obviously there's even a ride inside oh yeah we went on yeah so it takes you on that. this little gondola type thing and you kind of it takes you through different exhibits to see how the ship was built yeah awesome stuff anyway now we are leaving belfast and we're heading to the coast we're staying in an area called bang ba i think it reads bangor but you said banger 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 was that just the accent might be the accent <laughs> and so it's like a little coastal town that we're going to go and explore in a little bit and that's where we're going to be staying for the next couple of nights just as i'm making our way to the bus here one other little story that we picked up along the way that i thought was was pretty crazy is that athletes that uh, base in Northern Ireland can actually make a decision at places at events like the Olympics to either compete for Great Britain or for Ireland as a whole because Northern Ireland and events like the Olympics don't have their own uh, national team so to speak. Just about to jump back on. There we go. It's surprising there's only five people on this tour which is very comfortable. This is basically how it goes we just get to watch along looking out the window. Provincial Bank of Ireland. The view I wanted. Uh -oh. We have to head down the line. Uh, do you see the statue of Carson up there? I do. Okay. Yeah. The, uh, as I say, the man who was largely responsible for the uh, setting up of uh, Northern Ireland. going on and packed into these tours. What are we now, about five o'clock? Yeah. It's about five o'clock. We've just been traveling from uh, Belfast out towards Bangor, uh, Bangor, Bangor, Bangor. I keep getting there right. It's, it doesn't read that way to us, which is where we're staying. We've just driven an hour. It's this cute little town. There's all these amazing colors all along the waterfront here. So it's like a seaside sort of town, but there's history uh, and stories going back around Vikings and brass swords and all sorts of stuff that have been found here. We made a little stop at a place called the Grey Abbey, which is the oldest Gothic church that's ever been found. It definitely reminds us a lot of New Zealand though, the little marina and everything that's down here. And here we are, look at this place. Full service as well, look at this. So I think the marina, or the, the waterfront, is just one block, or maybe a few blocks over that way. But this looks like a cute place. This room is like ridiculously grand. I feel like we are in an English an English movie or something, <laughs> like an, an old movie. So Rabbies arranges all of the accommodation if you want them to, or you can book your own. But honestly, this is just, and the views are insane. What a nice place. I love this town, it looks so awesome. I've decided I really like B and B's as well. Yeah. They feel like home. Everybody's so And yeah, and everyone is so accommodating and so lovely and nothing's too much to ask. All the Irish people that we've met have been so so nice. Just everybody seems so lovely in the B and B experience, which we also had in England as well. Mm. It's just like, they welcome you in like it's their home. Yeah, you do. You well, it actually like is their home. home. Like, most of them live on site, right? Yeah, I think so. So we're gonna, what are we gonna do now, babe? Talk us through it. <laughs> Tell the people. Um, so now we're just gonna go and walk into town. There's a little promenade yeah, somewhere. It's through there, I think. Um, so we'll go and walk down there, have a look at the town, and then probably grab some food. <laughs> Dane's doing this in the <laughs> background, because he is obsessed with Guinness. We yeah. tried our first pint of Irish Guinness only yesterday and he's already obsessed. The addiction is strong. All right, let's go. Are you seeing these houses? So cute. Look at all the colors. Wow. If you could have any color house, I know you're colorblind, but what would you have? Oh, 
I like white. I know white <laughs> is really boring. Maybe that's because I'm colorblind. I like black and white. You like black and white. We like monochrome. Look at this is this is Banger. Apparently, apparently, it's, uh, according to Sue, who's our uh, BNB host, is that what you would call him? It's a very small, very small town here. Just a little seaside place that people come in. Yeah. Oh, we've just stood in concrete. Oh no! I wondered why my foot slips. Oh no way! Oh no, we've got to be careful. That's terrible. <laughs> I feel bad that we missed up the There was literally no night. signs that were like, don't stand in the okay, fresh concrete. Oh my god. Yeah, apparently it's a very small little seaside town that people come and spend a few days or just escape for a weekend. So there's some nice restaurants, some good pubs. <laughs> and there's only like one some or two. There's, a, there's some loose cement. <laughs> there's a main street and a high street. So uh, I think as far as going to find places which she's drawn us out a map and all this sort of stuff but it sounds like we can just wander in and go and see what's around So before we like wrap things up and head to dinner, I just wanted to share a wee fun fact slash story time with you guys that I learned today. It blew my mind. So scientists have been doing studies with um, Irish brown bears, which are obviously from Ireland. Didn't actually know that that was a breed, by the way. But sure, <laughs> that's did I, but they are. With that. Um, so yeah, they've been doing these genetic studies, which trace them back to being like descendants of polar bears. Yeah. So like the Irish brown bear essentially started, started polar bears i don't oh, if you say I, they started i know what bears, you mean no like, i can't even piece that together wow mind i love polar bears. blowing honestly there's like i'm struggling with retention at the moment so my mind's gonna so, explode but that one there's I'll never so forget. much coming in so it's those quirky ones that we remember because just explaining the 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 ongoing history of the nation like and everything and it's religion like religion and all there's, there's so much it's just all yeah. inter, interwoven and yeah. it's just so like complicated we can't piece that together in these these short little videos that we make but anyway hopefully you're enjoying we've got two more to come from Ireland from the rest of our our trip here so uh, tune in for those the next one will be out in a couple of days we'll see you then thank you so much for watching catch you in the comments Bye.